Hello, I'm Anne Marie Spinelli. I'm a district elementary math coach for Bristol Public Schools, and I'm excited about this opportunity to talk to you today about some ways that you can help build important math concepts with your child at home as he or she gets ready for kindergarten. I'd like to introduce my assistant today, who's going to help um, us as we engage in some counting activities. Your home is a great place for your child to learn about math concepts and to develop a love for learning mathematics. Incorporating math activities into your daily routines is a wonderful opportunity for your child to develop a, a usefulness and importance for doing mathematics, as well as build a strong foundation for success in kindergarten and beyond. Counting is one of the first experiences your child has with number. Counting has two phases. The first phase involves learning the number names in order. Helping your child learn the number names in order to 10 is very important. I'm going to ask my helper to show us what this looks like. Can you count to 10 for me out loud? Notice that she said the counting names or number names in order and didn't skip any. There are a number of counting books available at the local library as well as songs and poems that will help your child learn the number names in order. You may even remember one that you learned when you were growing up. It might be similar to this one. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, start over again. There are many opportunities throughout your day to help your child practice counting. Waiting in line at the grocery store to check out or riding in a car to events are all examples of opportunities that you can practice counting with your child. If your child already knows the number sequence up to 10 and has interest, you might also try exploring learning the counting sequence up to 20. The second phase of counting involves counting to determine how many. In this phase, your child will say one and only one number name as they count a group of objects. Another thing to keep in mind when initially working with your child to count is to arrange the items that they're counting in a line. This makes it easier for your child to keep track of the items they've counted. I'm going to ask my assistant to model this for us and I'm going to ask you to count how many bears are on the paper but I'd like you to point to the bears as you count them. One, two, three, four. Excellent. How many bears are there in all? Great. Notice that she said only one number name for each bear as she counted them. I also asked her to tell me how many. That's an important question to ask your child because they need to recognize that the last number name spoken represents the total number of objects they've just counted, as Brooke did. Again, there are many opportunities in your daily routines to encourage your child to practice counting. For example, asking your child to count the number of plates as you set the table, or sorting laundry and counting the number of t-shirts in the basket are all great ways to infuse counting in your daily routines. If your child is successful counting out a set of objects, you can also challenge them by asking them to count a given number of objects from a container. For example, you might ask your child to count out eight grapes when taking a snack. I'm going to ask Brooke to count out eight teddy bears for a game that we're going to play later.
many prayers are there in all? Great job. Notice again, Brooke counted and said one number name for each bear as she counted them. Another common counting error is losing track of the items that have been counted. That often happens when the items are arranged in a group or pile, or they're spread in an irregular pattern. To help students become more successful when counting, encourage your child to move the items as they count them. I'm going to have my assistant show you how that's done. As you count the bears, move them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many bears in all? Seven. Wonderful. Nice job. There are many great opportunities to count with your child. The important thing is to keep counting activities fun. I'd also like to share with you some of my favorite counting books. One of my favorite counting books has a picture of some items that we can count. It also shows the matching symbol or numeral that represents how many, and it also has the word name. Exploring counting books with your child, such as this one, helps your child make the connection from the symbol to the quantity that it represents. Another one of my favorite books, counting books, is One Duck Stuck by Phyllis Root. This book has humorous characters and a lot of rhyming words that seems to grab children's attention and motivates them to, to count. When working with this, your child and reading this book, you're not only developing counting skills, but the book and story have a lot of rich vocabulary and rhyming that helps build reading skills as well. I hope you've enjoyed some of the counting activities that we've mentioned to help your child develop some, some skills that will help them be ready for kindergarten. When exploring counting and number concepts with your child, remember to keep the activities fun. Also, to keep the experience positive for your child, remember to encourage them and let them know that you believe in them. Also, point out to your child how you use counting and number in your everyday life. I want to thank my wonderful assistant for helping show some counting strategies. And I thank you for watching.